Coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your next C Sharp model game RPG tutorial. And by the end of this tutorial, you're gonna learn how to um, get everything working. So you're gonna be able to select the area, click it, and it will paste that there. Now, um, normally I would type everything out and talk along as I'm as I'm going, but I made these changes about a week or two ago, and I really don't remember what I changed and so on and so forth. And I didn't want to spend like the time to actually go through my old code and the new code to try and like figure out what changes I did. So uh, I know you guys hate when I do this, but basically I'm just gonna be going through a code walkthrough. And um, if you guys want, I can post the source code on my website, and um, you guys can download it and see the different changes and compare it to yours, right? Um, so we already had the uh, editor class set up, and now we have a rectangle called selected tile region. We have a list. We have our list of selectors, which we had before. Um, we're gonna get the a, a list of vector twos that are gonna give us the list of the selected tiles. Uh, we have the selected dimensions with the mouse position, uh, yada yada yada. And another new thing is the mouse on screen. Um, so this is gonna let us know if the mouse is on the screen or not. So uh, by default, we're just gonna set a default value to the selected tiles, and we're gonna set the uh, the default value for the first one. Um, we're gonna add an vector to zero for the selected tiles, so we know that um, the first tile we have selected by default is uh, tile zero. So for example, we have nothing selected on this right panel, but when we draw, the first tile is already selected so we can start drawing with it. That's what we basically have. That will prevent errors and so so on and so forth. Um, so we have a mouse enter uh, event handler, and this says, okay, when the mouse enters the editor screen, mouse on screen is equal to true, when it leaves, mouse on screen is equal to false, and we draw and then we invalidate so it doesn't show it on the screen anymore. Um, so now we have an uh, editor mouse down, and what happens when we do mouse down? We call current later layer dot replace tiles, and we pass in the mouse position and select the tile region, and we set is mouse down to true. Now we'll get back to that in just a moment. So we're gonna go to the layer class, and we're gonna see how everything works. We have our mouse move, and this gets a mouse position, um, just like we have in our tile sheet, in our tile sheet editor, or tile display, or whatever. Um, and we're going to get the width and the height. So we're going to get the total width and the height based on the selected region. And um, we're going to set the appropriate selector position, like so. And we're going to say, okay, if the mouse is down, then we're going to call editor mouse down. Okay. So what it's going to do is it's going to say, okay, if we move the mouse, if we move the mouse, whatever, this, this will alter our position. And if we're moving it and mouse and our mouse button is down, we're going to make it called editor mouse down, which is going to replace the tiles. So what that does is that it enables us to initially drag and the image will stay on okay so that's how it works and so um and then we're going to call make a call to invalidate and invalidate is going to um update it so it's going to make a sig uh, signal that we should update now one thing we have to do is i'm going to go to our tile display right now and i probably should have zoomed in before i started making this tutorial sorry but um we have our our tile display and where is it we need to go to our i believe it was mouse move um so i changed the way we did our invalidates and because what was happening before is that even when we selected something like this every single time you move the mouse we were seeing like where the mouse the selector was moving we only wanted that when we click on a certain position or we click and hold and drag then it moves so that's all we wanted to do so we did that by moving these invalidates in here so that it only invalidates when we need it to invalidate back to the editor code so um, we have uh, a property public property that returns the layers number I believe we made that last tutorial tutorial two tutorials before sorry and then we have an initialize and in our initialize we have 
Oh, sorry, we already went over this. I'm pretty sure. Sorry, I don't really remember where we were left off, but we have we get our selectors path and so on, and we load all our data, which should be fairly straightforward. And then we have our draw, and we say if the mouse is on screen, then we will draw the selectors. If the mouse is not on the screen, we won't draw the selectors on the screen. And that is fairly straightforward, and that's how it's going to work. So now what we want to do is we want to go to our map.cs, or sorry, layer.cs. And we want to look at our replace method. So our replace tiles method takes in a position and it takes a selected region. So we get our start index and our start index is um, um, start index is where we're going to start drawing from and uh, our tile index. Now what is this for? Um, oh yeah, so it lets us know which tile to draw and then the map index it lets us transfer that data to our app. transfer the tile index info to our map index so what's going to happen here is we're going to loop through um we're basically looping through the width of what we're drawing so how wide of the selector region we're drawing and we're going to set the tiles index x to our selected regions x so the um the top left most corner and we're going to increment tile index y plus one. Then we're going to loop through this. Um, we're going to loop through the x coordinate. So this is looping through the, the through the y. This is looping through the x, right? And we're going to say, okay, if it's um, if tile index times tile, um, if it's greater than the the texture's width, or it's greater than the texture's height, then we're just going to set to negative vector um, one. So it's going to so therefore it's not going to draw anything for that tile. Otherwise, we're going to set tile index equal to the map index. We're going to do a try, and we're going to try to set that map index to here. So if that, if we're drawing, for example, this is our map size, right? Our map is this size right here. So if we were to draw here, it would throw an exception because um, we're drawing outside the actual size of the map, right? The size of our list. But what it does is that it tries to do it. If it cannot do it, then it catches the exception, and then we say, okay, if the tile map count is less than or equal to i, we're gonna create a brand new, we're gonna create a new list, and we're gonna add these new list of vector ones to our temp tile map and add that to our tile map. So therefore, it's going to add a bunch of. What's gonna do is basically right here. So if we want to draw right here, it's gonna add in a bunch of blank tiles all the way leading up to here. And that's how it's gonna work and then after we do that we're gonna set our time map ij equal to our map index and then we're gonna increase the map index x plus one and that's essentially how it works so the draw works the same and everything else works the same i don't know if i added this last time but um yeah i'm pretty sure i added this last time um um add this up here so we'll re reset the default position and reset the default source rect and with that, with all those changes being done, everything should be drawn to the window correctly and you should be able to drag and drop and everything should work correctly. Now, if there's something I missed, I will address in the next tutorial. And if you have any problems, let me know. I'm sorry, I, in the next tutorial, I will type along as I go on, but I did this about a week and a half to two weeks and I did not want to look through all the code to figure out the, the exact changes and yada 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 so sorry about that but thanks for watching don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and bye for now